Hello everyone, hi, welcome uh, to a bit of a change in uh, content here. Uh, so as I've been saying on stream, I've been, I'm have been i going to move my uh, TGC Tours uh, content over to YouTube rather than doing it live on Twitch. So here we are uh, on YouTube, uh, still in Q School Hell, as you, as you are. Uh, my mic, my uh, camera is a little bit funky there. That might be a little bit better. There we go. So, uh, we're here at the uh, Chilps Peterson Memorial at the Sand Pit. And we are going to do our first round of qualifying today. Uh, hopefully this will go fast. It goes pretty well. Change up our clothes a little bit. We've got back on the old Bridgestone gear here. And we are ready to start. We're on the white pin. Teeing off in the white tee on the first set of pins and away we go so uh just to get the kind of down to brass tacks of what we're doing here uh tgc tours uh for those of you who are uh, uh kind of out of the loop here is kind of like a community driven for lack of a better description esports sort of uh look to the game <coughs> Because two K don't uh, don't support like professional play of this game compared to like other sports games like NBA two K and what one what have you. So uh, the community, the TGC community, as it was known obviously before, when the game used to be called the Golf Club and not uh, PGA two K. So they've been running this uh, kind of. Uh, it, it basically runs kind of, I wouldn't say parallel to real golf, but because obviously like there's not, there's like only a very few couple of like licensed courses in the game, but it runs like a real golf calendar. So like there's events every week and uh, you have to qualify to get your tour card and then you're like put in the, it's like, it's kind of like skill based matchmaking from there on like once you qualify you're like okay well i'm good enough to play in this division if i play well i get promoted if i play badly i get relegated and so on and so forth but i think it's pretty i think it's pretty neat and so i've been i've been taking a i've been taking a kind of run at it and trying to take it seriously because this is my first golf game i've played in like quite a while and i was like okay well i, I want to give this a go and lo and behold, here I am, uh, struggling to get out of uh, Q school or a qualifying school. And we're just doing our best to qualify. Now, I should note on the TGC website, it will say like, something like 200 or something projected tour cards available. Now, that uh, straight away is a misnomer. They, I have only realized this this morning. After I was like pogged up after putting in a couple of decent rounds, I'm like, oh, I'm ab I'm above the red line for the cuts, and then they only give out like seventy cards. So it is imperative that we do really well here and uh, get ourselves off to a positive start where we can. That didn't quite have the role that I wanted it to have here. Has gone a little bit too far. So we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to put for par here, and as I've been saying on Twitch, and it's, and it's very much kind of the same deal here. As long as we're not regressing and posting bogeys, that's progress. The closer to even ball we play, the better we can do. Now ignore the ignore the scoreboards down here, because. Uh, it's done through the society's event in in game, but uh, the qualifiers are put in along with like the rest of like the challenge circuit. So the scores that you see here are going to be a combined score from pretty much everyone who is on the tour. So we're not really competing against that leaderboard because that's including like challenge circuit A through J as well as qualifiers. That's a really good send. That is a really good send. It's not going to quite get as close to the hole as I would like, but it is going to annoy that bit of a 
There was a bit of a kind of a dip in the green. It is going to avoid that. We're going to try and put here for birdie. There's a little bit of an uphill downhill. A little bit of left to right, but a lot of right to left afterwards. We're going to aim a little bit more to the side. Oh, he hit that far too hard. I think it kind of shanked the putt a little bit there. It's not, it wasn't as straight as I'd hoped. But, we're still posting par. That's okay. So the plan is, moving on here, uh, that I will be posting four daily videos a week because there's four rounds each. So uh, we'll be doing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday uh, through qualifying school and I will revise that once, once I, if, I, if I qualify, once I qualify, whichever way you want to look at that. Uh, I'll be revising like the video schedule once I get qualified because through the qualifiers you have to play all four rounds. However, once you're in the main event itself, that's a bad shot. This just was a bad, bad lie here. But uh, once you've actually qualified, uh. That might leave us a little short. It's a very narrow green here. It looks like a peanut. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying there? I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah, once we've qualified, uh, we have to do the first two rounds first, and then uh, it's largely dependent then on whether we make the cut or not. As to where, whether we get to play rounds three, or three and four. So, for now, uh, the schedule is looking like that's a bad uphill lie on this. Look, look, look at the roll down there. And it's rolling, and it's rolling from left to right as well. It's a pretty bad green here. That may get in. Let's go. What a birdie. I absolutely did not think I was going to make that. Let's take a look at the replay here, dude. Uh, look at the roll in. I thought it was going to overshoot the hole and it just clipped back. I don't know why my player character there actually looked pretty disappointed by that. <laughs> oh well, that's a good start. We are minus one through three. A good start. I will I will take that kind of start all day. Right, we do want to try and get on. Obviously we try, want to try and get it on the fairway here. But we want to leave us a little bit of room for roll. But also like if we land a, bit, a little bit short because of the wind. I don't want to land in that, uh, in that kind of... Uh, very kind of bad looking rough there. I've been playing with the, one of the, I can't remember whether it, was the, whether it was like one of the golf club own brand drivers or the, or the uh, HB Studios branded driver, but I switched back to the Bridgestone one for this. Just to kind of give myself a little bit more drive control. And it has been that has worked out pretty well for me so far, I think. We're gonna be blasting this one into the wind. I'm worried about I'm worried about it's two hundred and nineteen yards carry, but that's not including the that's not including the landing and the roll afterwards. I'm worried about that. And there's a pretty significant jump between four iron and five wood. And that does leave me concerned. I think if I hit the five wood here and just try and send it. Oh no, that's bad. That's very, very bad. It's in the trees. It's in the brush here.
That's, that's pretty rough looking there. However, it does mean we're in a position to use my favourite shot of the entire game, the splash shot. I mean, I actually, we might actually get pretty close here. He's not going to get pretty close with that kind of a fast swing on it. Or is he? Or is he? It's a good recovery shot. All things, all things considered. <coughs> Steep roll here for the power pot. Can he do something with that? He can! He can absolutely do something with it. He saves power. So far, so good. So far, so good. You love to see it, really. Really and truly, you absolutely love to see it. Driver is going to take us too far. Now, the other side of that fence is officially out of bounds play, so we definitely do not want to overshoot this. I believe the three wood carry might, might take us onto the green here. But only if we hit it straight, which we absolutely did not there. It's very unfortunate to land in the bunker there. We can try and splash it up and land on this land on this nice part of the green here. I think we'd be doing alright. I think I underhit it. I did. I knew as soon as. That's the thing about this game is uh, more often than not, you know as soon as you make con as soon as you make contact with the ball, you know that you know you didn't connect with it cleanly. Like you don't even have to look down at the swing meter. Ah, just inches wide. It wasn't even inches. It was more like millimeters. But, you know what? We still get a par out of it. We still get a par out of it. And that's, you know, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Considering we, that uh, 99 times out of 100 we play these courses going in pure blind. I think we done alright there. Try and come in at this from like the right hand side angle. It's a bit too much slice on it. Oh, that's that's far too far over hit. I didn't realize I was gonna hit it that far wide. To be honest. We can like splash out of here with the sandwich. 67 to 74. So it's 19 yards to the pin. And taking the lie penalty into effect 28. And about a three quarter penalty from 28 would be 21. So it's still overshoot by a little bit. But I think we've got this. Oh no. Maybe that was a lie for a regular shot. He's gone from one side of the green to the other. That's that's a, that's a dreadful shot selection. No, I should I should have trusted myself there and just went and just went for the hole instead of try instead of trying to overthink it here. We are on the green fringe, which means we do have to putt. And this is unfortunately looking like it's going to be a two, uh, going to be like a two putter. Do you have that little bit of uphill downhill here? It's not much, granted. We do have a little bit of it here to worry about. 
it's a slightly slow green up there there's a little bit of roll on that little incline He's hit it straight. He's hit it bang on. He's hit it too hard. He's hit that one way too hard. Once again, he's just put it. He's just hit it like the whole length of the green to uh, zero effect. Now he's putting for bogey, and now he has a significantly worse putt to make. Is it going to break a little bit to the right and save myself? It is, but not quite enough. And I think it's just going to trickle in for the bogey. Oh, the double bogey, actually, sorry. Well, uh, we've managed to swing our plus one... Uh, our plus one advantage to... Or minus one advantage to a plus one deficit in the space of a hole. So that's, I mean, that's the way golf goes sometimes. But, uh, not pretty good. Well, we'll do our best. We'll try to come back from this, obviously. A little bit on the fast side. But relatively straight, also. 278 yards to the drive. That's where I kind of wish I had my old driver. Driver off the deck might not be a bad play here, but I think I think this I think the three wood has to be it. Just just because it's a much safer play. You definitely have that you have that better swing plane. You have that slightly better uh, line of forgiveness there. It's a big incline to try and battle though. Let's hit it a little bit fast, which means it might go to the left a little bit and maybe miss that incline altogether. Just gonna stop on the fairway outside of the hole. I feel like I should try and splash this up. I had a feeling that might get me closer than the pitch. And I think it did. It gives me a good birdie opportunity here. On the seventh hole to try and bring it back to evens. You have a little bit of a roll here. On the green. But he's navigated that brilliantly. To bring himself back to even ball through seven. Again, we're trying not to pay attention to that scoreboard. Because chances are all of, all of like the really good players will have like started their rounds first. Therefore, they're populating the scoreboard and driving me down, which makes my score look bad. But in terms of like qualifying, it's probably kind of right. I wouldn't really say right up there, but uh, it could be like a decent looking score in terms of like the qualifying field that's bounced from one side into the other off the rough here and pitch up with a gap wedge club up just to try and get out of here i think that might be the move i just hit that a little fast from one rough right into another Now we've got to try and try and come out of here. With something resembling par.
There's a decent splash on, but he has shanked it a little bit. So I ended up a little bit just right off the pin. A bit too far right for his liking. A little bit of right to left roll here. A short eight footer. I think I've overhit that. No, he hasn't. It looked like an overhit. But uh, through eight, we're still playing par ball. Kick is minus 13. Through 17. That's an that's an incredible drive. I think he tried to extremes his plays on Twitch. I must I gotta tune into him at some point. The mayor there. Just to like see how, what it is that he does does and how he does it. I feel like that might be like worthwhile from like a learning standpoint. To kind of figure out how he plays. Because of course we of course like we're all playing this on like the same difficulty settings. Which is like a, a big thing about this is that we're all tied to the same settings. Like we don't have any extra assists that we can rely on just because we're in like a lower bracket. Like we're all playing on master difficulty with with the same swing difficulties. Is that bad approach shot there? Can we splash it? I think we gotta splash it short and hope that it carries in. It's a fast splash. I think we get as much power as I like. Maybe I should have clubbed up for that one. We are gonna try and putt for power here. It's a 20 footer. I don't wanna overhit it because I've got that steep incline there. So I think I'd be okay taking taking the plus one on this. However, ooh, it looked good on the approach, just a little bit too much roll. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy taking the plus one there, because it didn't it didn't roll past too much and end up going like going down that bit of an incline. That's what I was worried about. And plus the one through the front nine. Part of me wishes I still I didn't change my driver for this. This would have been prime send material for the for that old driver, but he's ended up right in the sand. Right in the sand. A double club up to six iron. Seventy seven to eighty four percent. Double club up might be might be the ticket here. To get out of this bunker. He's heading right towards another one, unfortunately. No, takes a butt, takes a bounce, ends up in the light rough. Bad life for a splash shot. Bad life for any shot, really. You gotta risk the underhead here. And hope that the roll takes us a bit closer to the pin. It will do. Takes us a little bit closer. Should leave us with a simple enough par. Which he's absolutely squandered. Oh, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. It's still, it's still moving. Ball is still in transit. Bit of a down. Bit of an uphill one here. There we go. It's another plus one. You know, we're not too far away. We're still close to. <coughs> Excuse me. We're still close to even ball. And it's still achievable through 18. That's, that's the most important part. Is that, you know, we're not losing sight of where we are. And on last week's Q school, uh, we were mostly posting like 
plus five and plus six scores. Actually, it might have been plus six and plus seven scores on average on each of the on each of the rounds. So uh, that's kind of what I'm aiming for is to do the same thing again and just you know keep moving the needle, keep keep just trying to get a little bit better. And you know, eventually, eventually the big result will come. <clears throat> and I've got to hope that my streak of form is on a Monday through Friday, and not like I put three good runs, good holes together. But unfortunately, it's round three and round four of one session, then round one, round two of the next. That's a pretty long putt here. A pretty steep roll here at the start. 43 foot for the birdie. I deliberately sank that a little bit to the left, hoping that it would get close to the pin, but not quite close enough. It does roll on a little bit extra, but it does leave us with getting nice and close for an 11 foot par attempt. Beautiful. Beautiful. You love to see it, truly. There we go, 12th hole. It's a par 4. 384 yards. Right, the driver is going to leave us in that sand pit in the middle. So we are going to take the safe 3 wood approach. It's a little bit slow, might still end up in the rough here. Not that much of a fringe between the light rough and the heavy rough in this course. Could be a big difference maker. Anyway, we're nice and safely on here. I believe a 9 iron. If I hit it decently and hit it with the right carry, it might roll down to the pin here. Let's hit it a little bit fast. It's going too far left. As long as it doesn't hit that big downhill bit, it should be alright here. If it'll just stay still. For a green and regulation, that's not so bad. Oh, this, this lie though. Oof. Now, we are playing in tournament, re in tournament rules here, which means we are not allowed to use the chip to avoid this slope. It means we do have to navigate it. Which I would rather, rather not do. We do have to try and curl this puppy around. Get a little bit close. But, you know, considering that where we are on the course, I think that's an acceptable putt. And that'll be a two putt to bring us to par. One more for the good guys. Hour plus two. Another one. Another bar. Thank you, DJ Khaled. Four or five yards. This is where I wish I had my old driver, really and truly. Just send it right down the middle for like 320 yards or so, or something crazy like that. He has absolutely not sent that one down the middle whatsoever. Can I get a bounce back into the fairway, perhaps? No. Nope. We're in the brush here. This is going to be a dangerous one. We're going to club up to the pitching wedge here and hope for the best. I'm out of bunker one. I avoid bunker two. That's a pretty decent bounce. I'm just going to carry a little bit. We're still on the green in regulation even though we miss a fairway. Got a bit of a nasty looking lie here. But we're on for a two pop par. Birdie would be great if we can get it. But I'm not expecting any miracles. Almost got a miracle. But not quite. It's going to leave a 9 footer for par. Again with that dirty looking roll here. 
It's going to drop. Let's go. Let's go. I was kind of worried there that it wasn't going to just roll in. Plus two through thirteen. I mean, five holes left in the session. And hopefully, you know we can we can just put on a good display and you know hope for the best. Bit of a downhill lie. I really don't want to overshoot this because again, beyond the fence is out of bounds. Send it. It's a little bit fast, which will bring it back over towards the pin just a little bit. Oh baby, that is a beautiful, beautiful approach shot. We have a nice little seven foot tapping for the birdie. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That'll bring it back down to plus one ball. You absolutely love to see it. That's a big long par five here. We're shooting into the wind. Shot that a little slow. It's heading towards that bunker right there. Oof. Funny enough, the bunkers in this game actually can be pretty playable. Which I find to be absolutely amazing. 79 to 87%. Like, that should still get us a... That should still get us a decent... A decent distance here. Like, what's 79 to 87% here? Like, where I'm aiming. Seventy nine to eighty seven per cent. This is a two two hundred and twenty four yard carry. I've never used a tool before, by the way, so this is this is kinda new to me. Two hundred and twenty four yard carry. If I head it over this way. It should go over or between those two trees and still land in fairway. Send it. Okay, maybe it won't land in fairway. But we are closer to the hole. And that's what we love to see. A bit of a lie penalty, but we're going to take the sand wedge out here. A little fast, but that'll counterbalance the wind. And we should get... I was going to say we should get close to the hole. It does look like we're on a little bit of an incline. So please, please stop. Ball has come to a complete stop. Ooh, that's a bad incline right there. A little bit of right to left roll here, 24 feet. It's looking pretty decent. Oh, that was close. Almost a miracle putt there. But... You know what? Par's par. As long as you're not regressing, you're progressing. It's our motto we like to say when we're playing golf. As we try and convince ourselves that par is actually in fact a good thing for a player for a player of our skill level. I think clubbing down to the eight iron might be better as we try to at least just get over I need to just try and get over this incline patch and just land anywhere close. I don't want to overshoot the green here. It's a little bit fast. It's a nice end. We did overshoot still. Even though we clubbed down, it's still an overshoot. Which I'm pretty amazed by. 
Now it is on the fairway and it's not on the green fringe, which means we can chip. We are chipping for 11 yards. Good chip, good rip. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Back to even ball. I'm proud of that one. Let's take a replay. Kiboosh! Look at the little roll on that. Absolutely spot on. We are back to even ball 316. I feel like if I take better clubs, if I, I feel like I should like take my other driver, the the longer distance one, into round two just to see how it gets on. Compared to compared to the Bridgestone, I feel like that extra little bit of distance off the tee box, uh, could be a bit of a difference maker. But overall, I think we're playing really well here. It has to be said. Three hybrid. The bounce would take us to here if we go full send. And then hopefully it'll roll onto the green. Uh, uh, bounce and roll onto the green. Get close to the pin from here. Just hit that one a little bit fast. Maybe I should look at my hybrid and try and get one that has a little bit more swing forgiveness. I'm right over here in the heavy rough. Do we get a little uh, pitch in opportunity for Eagle? Or you know what? Could be. Could be a splash opportunity either. No. Our lie is kind of somewhere between the orange and the red. So. Gotta take that into effect. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking like it's going to roll all the way to the other side of the green. It's a bit unfortunate, but it does leave us a pretty, pretty dead on straight shot. For Birdie, I think he's hit that far too hard. And this happened for par. That's okay. That's okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. I can very much live with that. 18th hole. If we can hit a par here and go in this first round with evens, that's going to leave us in a really good position for the let, for the rest of the tournament. And the rest of this week of qualifying school. It's a pretty good drive there. 295 yards. That's really, really good. Approach. It is up 10 feet. I feel like... The pitching wedge might actually be the best club for this, but I don't want to. I see red downhill on the other side of here. I'm really worried about that. However, I do think clubbing down is going to be like the worst play. So we're just going to try and get this as close as we can. That's a pretty decent shot, but it's rolling to the left here. We can just stay still where it is. We should be alright. Mm, bit of a dirty lie here. A little bit of left to right. A little bit of a little bit of an uphill downhillish sort of uh, approach here as well. That's looking just short. It's looking just short. But. Oh! 
Oh. I'm so close to a fully even round. And now this last little tap in is just starting to get away from me. I can't believe I've hit the replay button on that. Please just advance and let me move on with my life. There we go. Disastrous final hole with that double bogey on some what should what should have been an easy tap in there. However, a plus two is very much very much a positive round. It shows that we are progressing in our skill. We are getting better at the game. And just look at that. Pars almost across the board. We had two double bogeys. We had two regular bogeys and four birdies. For our first time playing that course blind, I think that's pretty good progress. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Join us again tomorrow for round two of the Chubbs Peterson Memorial at the Sandpit. Hope to see you then. Take care.